दिस एप्पल फीचर्स एंड सेटिंग्स वोट वर्क विथ युअर साइड लोडिंग एप्लीकेशन येस गाइज यू मस्ट नो दिस बिफोर यू इन्स्टॉल एनी एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम ऑल्टरनेट एप स्टोर ऑन युअर आईफोन सो हे गाइज वेलकम टेक्निकल बियोडो यर एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वील टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर द फ्यू फीचर्स एंड सेटिंग्स ऑफ आईफोन्स और एप्पल वोट वर्क ऑन युअर ऑल्टरनेट एप स्टोर और ऑल्टरनेट एप्स ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो यर The first feature or setting that won't work with your alternate apps or alternate app store application that is your in-app purchase restrictions. Yes, in iPhone we know that, for example, through parental control we can put restrictions over our kids or your children's iPhone or devices. Okay, where you can restrict them from purchasing any application from the app store without your permission, right? But this feature or settings won't imply here in this alternate app store because they are completely different from your official app store and you don't have a access to these applications or app stores through your official iPhone or Apple ID. This might be very concerning regarding your payment as well as your payment details or purchasing details. Secondly, the very important one that is your family sharing. As we all know that Apple has allowed a feature called family sharing where you can share a purchase application with your family members, okay, with these settings. But this feature won't be available in this alternate app store as the application we are downloading or installing are from different or they are from the alternate app store not from your official apple app stores right so the setting or the access might be different so you won't get this feature in this alternate app stores from the applications third thing the also the feature called ask to buy right in our app store we had a feature of a ask to buy but this feature won't be available in this alternate app store or alternate app marketplaces as well and there is one point i want to make or bring to your notice that is regarding your apple support as we all know that whenever there is a issue or query regarding any apps or any app store issues we directly go and contact apple support through website or application right and apple is very quickly and prompt to reply and answer our queries right but this same feature or the same experience you won't get here in this alternate app store because any query regarding application install from your alternate app marketplaces you need to contact the developer from respect to marketplaces and there is no guarantee regarding time there is no criteria mentioned by them or we don't know how to get over this queries or issues solved right and according to me i feel that this apple support and the family sharing feature these two features are very important for any person who is using the app store very consistently and regularly at a large scale Also guys there are some good things and bad things about sideloading of applications or a alternate app store and the complete video on this what is good and what is bad about this alternate app store will make a detailed video on this so guys please hit the like button if you like this video and please subscribe for next videos regarding iphone tips and tricks iphone solutions and your ios update so guys until then thank you very much bye bye take care see you in the next video